Hello and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Aisha and today we have my May empties. It sounds so crazy to say May empties because how is it already June? But anyway, today we're going to be going through everything that I finished off in May. So as you can see, background is different again. We're working out a space that works in this room best for filming with like lighting, noise, just everything. I hope this isn't too distracting. Just let me know if it is. I will find a plainer background. But anyway, yes, it's time for May empties. It's coming a little bit late because I had some issues with my camera that I had to get sorted out. And you guys know I started a big full-time job and it's been pretty hectic. And this is this afternoon. It's Saturday when you're seeing this. You should see the Sunday. But like, this afternoon we're going to see the Arctic Monkeys in Manchester, which is super exciting. So I wanted to get this video up and out for you guys. So the bin is pretty full. Obviously we did just move. I opened up everything new when we moved, like my all new skincare, hair, get everything like that. So getting through things a little bit slower, but I did still have my project user up, which will I will update and then I will start the summer one for June. And obviously I have moved in with my family. They're not the best at saving their empties. I've caught them been in quite a few. I've had to try and catch them out on it. But we did end up with quite a quite a lot. And when my family go through stuff, they go through stuff. Like the amount of hand soaps and shower gels in here is insane. So let's just jump right in. I'm just gonna keep the bin here and I'll just pull. So right off the top, we'll just get them out of the way. Two deodorants, pomegranate and a pear, absolute favourite go-to. I've got a stash. Love them, don't use anything else. Then we've got some hand soap. So we've got this one with the lid broke off, but they managed to use most of it. This is the Elvedere, ooh, I don't know, it's German. We got it in Berlin, but it was like an orange and an olive, or orange and blueberry, is that? Yeah, orange and blueberry. This is actually really nice. You see the lid did break, but we managed to get most of it out. It was in the bathroom, it was fine. Before that, we had my rituals, the ritual of Sakura. Sakura. Uh, this was the antibacterial firm and hand soap. I have got the refill for this, so I will keep hold of the packaging. Absolutely loved this. Similar to Bath and Body Works with the firm and, but it was antibacterial. Smelt just like a spa. It was getting a little bit boring after a while. It's like a rice milk um, and cherry blossom scent, but glad to have more of it and I'll keep hold of this packaging to keep refilling it. Okay, we have another hand soap. This is just like a generic one that we had over Easter. Just a... I don't know where this was from, Home Bargain maybe? It was just a strawberry hand soap, it was nice. Didn't have too much of a strong smell to it, it was just cute for Easter in the kitchen. Okay, let's let's just discuss this. This situation with this family. Okay, and another pair of deodorant. So that's two pair and one pomegranate. But this is this family's shower gel usage. And this was all that I could catch out the bathroom that was used. There was definitely more that was recycled before I could get to it. My nan is a culprit for not keeping it empties. But let's just let's just go through them. So Jay finished up the Lynx Ice Chill. Wouldn't get this again. It had like a menthol to it. Um, didn't particularly like it. Don't think he was too bothered by it. Family just likes to leave shower gels in the bathroom for everyone to use. And knows my sister specifically finished this. This is the Japanese cherry blossom from Bath and Body Works. She loves this. She loves the formula. She really enjoyed the smell. Has notes of cherry blossom, Japanese cherry blossom, Asian pear, fresh, fresh mimosa petals, white jasmine, and blushing sandalwood. It's a really nice, kind of unisex perfumey. Oh, it's just rich, really nice with that sandalwood, but with the Japanese cherry blossom, which balances it out. I think she really enjoyed this one. This one, I think my mum and nan combination used the golden neroli and lemon drops from Imperial Leather. My nan loves a good Imperial Leather <laughs> limited edition scent. I didn't use this one myself. It smells like lemon and herbs. I don't know. I They used it anyway. <laughs> and mum finished up a pink grapefruit shower gel from the body shop. Body Shop Shower Gels are her go-to. Pink grapefruit's not my favourite, but it is a good, good, fresh, zesty one for the summer. Then I finished up two. I finished up my whipped berry meringue shower gel from Bath & Body Works. This one has notes of fresh berries, whipped sugar, and fluffy vanilla. There was something about this shower gel that I just didn't love. Like, I love the idea and the smell, but there's definitely like a plasticky strange note in there but so I'll finish it up get it out of the way for spring when that was done I needed something else to go in there so I chose this is from Turkey it is a white peach and nectarine from this brand which looks pretty French I'm pretty sure that's not Turkish the petite Marcelles I don't know but it's just a brand we um, got in Turkey and I picked this shower gel out last year when we went and uh, brought it home to finish up. So yeah, white peach and nectarine. This was so, so good. Oh, 
peachy fruity love it really enjoyed this we'll be looking to get some more this summer when we're over in turkey so one more soap is the bought the dove bar soap in pink one this is what we generally keep in the bathroom if people prefer to use a bar soap so that is there a cream so we mum finished up the body shop boost swept body cream i was gifted this one and i really didn't enjoy it so i passed it on to her it is a, a mandarin and bergamot but it's quite heavy on that herbly note but yeah, very luxurious it's the kind of spa range for the body shop but she really enjoyed it so she finished that out for me i finished up the peach please body lotion from soap and glory i finished up the shower gel last month finally got the body cream finished it's a white peach and soft moss really enjoyed it really kind of sophisticated perfumey soft peach really liked it this is one of my favorites from the body shop it's discontinued spa of the world hawaiian kakui rich nourishing body cream longest in the world but this was going off i have got a full size so i just thought i'd finish up this mini seeing as it was going a little bit it's not like plastic basically so i just finished up as a foot cream talking of foot creams we'll finish up the body shop hemp foot protector they have changed the packaging I think and the formula on this one but it's definitely definitely a popular one and she did repurchase the new one another dove pink bar soap they go through a lot uh, mum finished up the body shop mango bath blend I've shown so many of these before on this channel because mum just loves them I love them so soft such a nice bubble bath and really really strong on the scent I finished up this AMNH peach beauty tighten and lifting polish I've seen a lot about this here on the YouTubes and the internet and there's mixed reviews. They're kind of like the dupe of like the Truly Beauty brand. They don't give much of a scrub. Basically the way that I would describe it is like a frosting, like a cake frosting, buttercream, like that kind of like spongy creamy texture. As a scrub that doesn't quite work but I just really liked it as a pre-shave treatment. To really just like soften the skin before I shaved. It did have a slight tiny tiny little bit of a bead to it but not much it's just got really really nice ingredients for the skin and the smell wasn't peach it was more like plastic peach but i don't know i liked it using it with all of these peachy bits for the spring okay we have a couple body sprays millie my little sister used up the body shop british rose all the part all the toilette yep a go-to for her she really enjoys this and i think she has repurchased i finished off victoria's secrets pure seduction this is juice plum crushed freesia all night long this was the scent that i've worn in new york both times we've been just reminds me of new york but there was no point in having this mini hanging around so i finished it up and i will buy a full size when they have a good sale on Hair product, my LV Dream Length Savia Hair Mask. Don't have to say much about this. It's my go-to hair mask. It's in pretty much every empty. I love it. My hair does need a cut, a buffer now. I'm saving it as much as I can. And it's such a good hair mask. Some hand creams. We've got Gingham Love. Mum finished this up. She really enjoyed this and said to look out if it, um, it ever comes up in the sale again. I finished up this Cragen's Argan Oil Hand Cream. Ugh, awful, shocking. Had to use so much and it was still sticky and oily and didn't make my hands like moisturized at all so wouldn't repurchase but i know it was fairly cheap we've got my oh aldi bathroom wipes yeah this has been every <laughs> pretty much every empties go to bathroom wipes from aldi great deal use go use a lot of them and they're great for flushable wipes okay i've picked out everything from the bottom so we've got the super drug style expertise anti-frizz anti-taming serum this is all gunky but this is so so good tiny tiny little bit along the ends of the hair or even just anyway you got a little bit of frizz just to tame i mean my hair is just crazy frizzy when it's brushed because it is curly so i just love a good taming treatment me and mum both love that one we have got a toothbrush we've got i don't know a toothbrush it doesn't say what it is where it's come from i think assume we opened it when we moved We've got the Vitamin E Night Nourishing Cream. This is mum's go-to. It has had a gorgeous little packaging change, so she repurchased it, but such a good one for a neutral night cream. We have got a Neutrogena. I assume that we got this in Turkey, it looks like. Yeah, a Turkish Neutrogena lip balm that mum finished up. I've got a Turkish Garnier Skin Naturals. This is the Moisture Balm with Hyaluronic Acid Face Mask. Uh, sheet mask i really, really enjoyed this it was really nice i like getting them over here and in turkey i think what it was was we went to turkey like this time last year ish so i assume we all just looked at our products and was like wow these turkish ones need using up 
course, I'm going back in September so I can stock anyone up on stuff they need. But these are just generally cheaper in Turkey. That's why we bring them over. We've got two chamomile balms from the Body Shop. I finished up a travel size and Mum finished up a travel size. Absolute go-to makeup remover. It is a cleansing balm. Just melts away your makeup. It's perfect. I just wear mascara most days. It's perfect for that. We both love it. I've got everyone in my life onto it. I finished up one half of the cucumber eye masks from the body shop i've really been suffering with eczema and um dry eyes recently it's a mixture of hay fever and just general eczema anyway and it just always makes it worse when my eyes are streaming so this just helps to calm and cool and also hydrate around the eyes so i used one and i will definitely use the other one i repurchased them over the summer okay we are down to home fragrance so this house is great because everyone in this house loves a good smelly a good wax smells we're not really a candle household um i was when i lived on my own with jay in the apartment but here it's a no candle it's just wax so it means that we get through a lot so i have a woman here in my room there's a couple downstairs and nan also has one one thing about nan is she is the worst at keeping her empty so nan goes through a lot of wax melts but she just keeps spinning them so this is just from the open concept downstairs and from my room i tend to just use a cube of different things like i don't tend to go through a bar in a week i like to do a different scent every time i change it out so that's why i go through less but I still got some entities nevertheless so we've got a berry fairy tail this is just a tester hopefully it will fix it's like a pineapple berry one i had mango pineapple going and i wanted something to complement it um in my other one i've got two in this room so i put berry fairy tail in this one i popped mango pineapple in the other one and then the other day i did berry fairy tail again with kahiko kahiko hula kahiko hula I don't know it's like the palm tree one with pineapple in such a good blend but this berry fairy tail went really really weird towards the end i think the pineapple gone it was just this weird berry but probably wouldn't buy it but it was nice to mix at the time um another one i finished up in my room was fiji flower this literally had one cube left when we moved so i brought it with me finished it off here this is a laundry apple ignore the gunkiness by the way i was using it to get wax out of the warmers um <laughs> This is like a laundry apple note, but it's just a little bit too powdery. I love a clean apple, but it was just a little bit too powdery. I see the hype. Wouldn't get it again, though. And then down in the open concept, I had some bars that had one or two cubes left, so I just finished them off downstairs. This was the Dazzle Darling. This was like a pink grapefruity perfume. I, I don't know. This one's got like a bit of an effervescent sherbet to it as well. It was nice downstairs for a couple of days. Um, wouldn't, wouldn't repurchase it though and then jumping jelly bean i had given this to my mum a little while ago because i just never found a space or time to warm it and downstairs where we had like the open concepts and mum had like the back windows and doors and things open i had like fresh air coming through with this really astringent pair it actually worked really nice um and yeah it was only like a couple of cubes left so we just used that up but I wouldn't get it again because it's just a specific scent, but I'm glad that I tried it because it's very up my alley with that like really astringent pear apple. So that is it. That is my basket empty again. I think I'm going to need a new basket because this one's getting grotty. But um, that is F for May. Crazy to say. I think my first empties I ever did on this channel was April or May. So it's like a whole year I've been doing this. I absolutely love it. But yeah. I just apologise so much for these big gaps between videos. I'm not forgetting about it. I just don't have the time. So, yeah, I'm going to really make sure to get this up. I will get my Project Use Up Spring conclusion up. Um, sneak peek, I pretty much used up all the products. But I don't want to leave the video or the series unconcluded. And then we've got my summer introduction. I picked up all my items. I've made some routines. And we're ready to show it off and get some things moving. As you can see, this family is pretty good at using things up. Are they good at giving me the empties? No, but we will work on that. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.